Triage is a procedure for rapidly assessing people who are ill or injured in order to categorize them according to their level of urgency for medical care. In a mass casualty situation, this involves quickly assessing victims, looking at them to determine whether they have any obvious serious injuries, it might take some physiological measurements like a pulse or counting respirations. This is a quick assessment to determine whether someone needs immediate life-saving measures or whether the patient can afford to wait for medical care later. So this is the first stage of triage and we call this primary triage. There's another stage after that which we call secondary triage and that is a reassessment and monitoring of patients to see if their status has changed or if we missed something the first time. There are many challenges to doing triage in a mass casualty situation. We are focusing on a couple of them that we think are fundamental and where we think we can innovate with new technologies. Triage, as it's done today, doesn't scale to large numbers of casualties. Triage requires a hands-on evaluation, and a responder can only evaluate one casualty at a time. We also need a more predictive capability. It's easy to determine the care that someone will need if they have obvious injuries, for example, if someone has an, uh, an amputation. The difficult problem is someone who is not obviously injured, but they may have some internal serious injury that won't manifest for some time and then it may be too late to help them. The work that the competitors in the challenge are doing are going to lead to technologies that will save lives in mass casualty situations and, and even in the regular course of clinical care.